Hello, I'm Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com and it's time! Upgrade to Adobe Audition CC 2017. Here's a look inside. Okay, so Adobe Audition CC 2017 on your screen right now, looking beautiful. I mean, there's a real focus on clean and tidy, neat layout, beautification of the app itself. Everything just has had a, a, a facelift graphically, uh, particularly when it comes to working on retina screens. And that's something I'll get to in just a moment. But say you load up Adobe Audition CC 2017 for the first time. What is it you want to be looking at? Well, over here, you've got your files and your favorites, as has always been the case in Adobe Audition. Nothing has changed there. Media browser, effects rack, your markers and properties, history and video down in the bottom left. The levels bars have got a tiny bit bigger, which is always nice, so you can check the levels of your audio. And of course, the time, the uh, playback controls and the editor and the mixer that we'll get to in a moment in the multi-track of Adobe Audition CC 2017. Essential Sound has now become a, a big fixture of Adobe Audition, and it guides you through doing some of the basic things like making dialogue sound better, making music match, uh, editing sound effects and ambience as well, so that can all be done inside the multi-track. But let's get started. Uh, so file, new, audio file, and the next thing you'll notice here is we've got lovely curved edges to all the input boxes here and the curved buttons. Now, uh, this is nothing new in the Adobe suite of creative apps. Um, of course, Photoshop and other apps have had the uh, the curved edge beautiful buttons for a while. Uh, so let's just change that to 44 100 hertz, which is standard for audio recording. And here's our screen. So let's start recording. I'm going to actually put on, uh, yes, let's put on the spectral frequency display so you can see that in action. Hello. This is Mike recording into Adobe Audition CC 2017. Okay, stop that there. There is my audio, so I'm just going to trim that up. And one of my favorites, particularly if I want to make audio sound like it's been on the radio, uh, where it goes through a huge amount of compression, is using something like the effects, amplitude and compression, and going for the multiband compressor, uh, which before was not ready for retina displays. Now it's had a complete overhaul, and many other effects you'll notice have just been slightly tweaked to look beautiful. So look at this one now, everything looking very native of course before it was a plug-in from isotope now it's been hard integrated into audition and you'll see that lovely spectral frequency or wave analysis will come up when i play back this is mike recording into adobe audition cc 2017 and uh, if you're watching in 4K, you'll see exactly what I mean by the fact that the, uh, the frequency analysis looks absolutely beautiful here. You're getting the different frequencies, the lows, the mids, the highs, all in different colors there. This is Mike recording into Adobe Audition CC 2017. And of course, as is expected, you can uh, change the threshold on this that compression. This is Mike recording into Adobe Audition CC 2017. And as you see the red tickling in there, you'll probably hear the audio change as well. You'll notice that the compressor is starting to work on the different frequencies. Let's play again. This is Mike recording into Adobe Audition CC 2017. So basically, I'm compressing down the bass and keeping the treble in there. But you can see that you can have a play with that and those lovely rounded buttons as well. Absolutely fantastic. Now, I might want to go into the multi-track and do some editing. So let's start a new multi-track file, drag in what I've just recorded there. Uh, that's fantastic. I might duplicate it onto another track there. So we've got two tracks. As you'll see, everything is, is looking beautiful all around here. Even the effects rack where I can put on some delay and echo, uh, do all of that. All the buttons have been lovely circles now instead of kind of like draggable uh, rectangles. We've now got lovely circles to work with in Adobe Audition CC 2017. I can go into um, over here, the essential sound, select something, go into dialogue. I can choose one of my favorite presets like the balanced male voice. And again, just go through up and down to alter the sound of that audio there. It immediately calculates what is needed. Um, if I hit uh, option two or go to the mixer, you'll see the mixer has been beautified and also colorified as well. Uh, we now have colorful uh, mixing desk uh, tweakers there. So faders as they're known in the industry. Uh, so that's really nice to be able to play with the faders on the mixing desk and they match the color of the track that you're working with. So some beautification happening on the mixing desk as well. But one of the uh, biggest new features 
features with Adobe Audition CC 2017 has to be in the help menu and it is Audition Learn. So if this is your very first experience with Adobe Audition and you're watching this video thinking, I want to get into Adobe Audition, but I'm not quite sure what to do, then Audition Learn is going to be your first stop. Learn how to use Adobe Audition CC. That's in the help menu, Audition Learn ticket. If it's not already enabled when you load the app, that's where you need to go to get it. Uh, there is a tutorial. There'll be many more tutorials coming in as uh, Adobe Audition CC 2017 beds in. Uh, I reckon this is a feature that's going to be developed quite heavily over the time. And in a new video, I'll guide you through one of the tutorials in Audition Learn uh, so you can see exactly how it works. But welcome to Adobe Audition CC 2017. And how are you finding it? Let me know in the comments to this video.